Okay, hello everyone. All right, so let's create a um, small um, example program to test out compare to ignore case and equals ignore case. So we're going to create a program. We are going to have or, or create a string that is going to be, let's say, our actual password, the correct password. And then we are going to allow the user to enter their login details. They're, they're supposed to enter a password in order to log in. And if they type in the password and they get it correct, the program is going to display welcome user or something. If they get it incorrect, if the password they type is incorrect, then the program is going to say incorrect password. Now, we're going to actually um, create or, or, or store the actual, the correct password in a string. And, you know, you know we're going to create it ourselves. Now, we're going to write the program in such a way that when the user types that exact password in lowercase or uppercase or a mix of cases, as long as they get the password correct, you know they they should be able to you know they should be able to get in, right? If the password is let's, let's say the the string let's say cat, if the user types in let's say cat with an uppercase c, uh, c an uppercase a and lowercase t, it should work. All we are concerned about is that you know it's exactly the word cat, right? We don't care about the case. So we're going to write a program to kind of simulate that. All right. So since we're going to be using um you're going to be access or getting user input. We have two options. We can either use, well, we have a couple of options. Uh, we can either use the G option pane or we can use a scanner class. For this program, let's use the G option pane. It's just a choice. You can also use a scanner class for this one. So, in order to use the G option pane, I'm going to import javax.swing.j option pane. Okay, we are importing the G option pane class located in the javax.swing package located in, in the Java API. All right, so once we've imported a, uh, the, the G option pane class, with the G option pane class, we don't have to create any 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 object. We just go ahead and use the methods in the, in the G option pane class. All right, so let's prompt, well, before that, before that, let's create our, our password, our actual correct password in a string. So I'm going to go ahead and create a string, class type variable, I'm going to call it uh, correct password. And then let's create a, a password, the correct password that the users have to get right. So I'm going to call it, let's say, best password. Oh, let's do this. Best password. Well, it doesn't matter, right? Um, let's say best password ever. Mm, should I do this? Actually, let's let's just come out case it. Right? It doesn't matter. Best password ever. This way. So that's our correct password. This is what the user has to type in order to log into the system. If they type in anything different than this, if it's completely 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 different, then they can't get in. We don't care if they type in a, an uppercase B for this one or a lowercase P for this one. As long as they get the best password ever string correct, they, they'll log in. So we have our correct password. We also need the user's input, right? So first, let's display a string to the user and, and ask the user to enter their password. So I'm going to use the G option panes show input dialog to tell the user to enter their password. So I'm going to say G, G option pane dot show input dialog. All right, so the G option pane show input dialog is going to prompt or show a message to the user and, and get a response. So I'm going to say please enter. Oh, I'm just going to use the, the string password. Or just say please, <laughs> please enter your password. Right, so the Jobption Pane Show Input Dialog is going to pop up some kind of text box, and it's going to well, first of all it takes this argument, this string argument, um, what you want to display to the user. That's the argument it takes. It's going to pop up some kind of text box, or that sorry, dialog box, and it's going to allow. So it's going it's some kind of dialog box with a text box embedded inside of it, and it's going to allow the user to type in a value. Now whatever the user types it is going to be returned back to us. It's going to be sent back to us as a string. So when it's sending that value that a user has typed to us, we, we need a place to store it. Since it's a string, since it's returning a string, we need a string variable to hold that value. So I'm going to create um, a string value up here. Right? And I'm going to call it user password. Oops. Right? And so user password is going to store whatever the user typed, okay? Whatever is returned by the show input 
dialog method. Okay. So now after the, after this, the user password will be stored here. So let's create a new statement to compare it with our best password ever and see if it matches. If it matches, again, we don't care about the case. If it matches, we tell the user welcome. If not, we tell the user incorrect password. So an if statement here to say that. Again, we want to ignore the case, right? We don't care about the case being exactly the same as best password ever. As long as it's exactly uh, best password ever without um, the correct case, which it should be fine. And you, you'd have a better sense of this when the program runs. So if the user's password, the user password, okay, let's use equals first. If user password dot equals, ignore case. If user password dot equals, ignore case, the correct password. So what we are saying is, if you compare these two strings, the user password and the correct password, ignoring the case, if they're equal, if you ignore the case, if you compare them ignoring the case and they're equal, then let's display a message saying that, welcome to the system or something like that. So system without stop print Ellen we'll, we, let's say welcome user, something like this. Else, else means that it's not the same. It's, it, you know, it's not the same password. So let's type or display a message saying that incorrect password. Simple. Incorrect password. Please try again. All right, so now since we use the GOption pane class, let's go ahead and terminate that extra thread. That, 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 sorry, that extra, uh, extra task known as a thread um, uh, caused by the GOption pane. Let's terminate it. So I'm going to do that with system.exit. I'm going to pass in the value 0. And 0 is going to be received by the operating system. And basically, it's an indication to the operating system that um, this program runs successfully. It got to this point, and it was able to receive 0. Normally, it's an indication that the program runs successfully. Okay, when the operating system gets to zero, once the pro program gets to this line, and it's able to receive zero, okay, when the operating system is is, is able to receive zero, then it's normally an, indi an indication that the program runs uh, successfully. Uh, look through the um, the uh, the, the Gerption pain videos, and you'd have a better sense of it because I explained it in you know, much more detail there. All right, so now we're done with this program. Let's test it out. Compile. Oh, we have an error. Whoops. Let's see. So, um, let's see. But cannot find symbol variable correct password. Okay, so I didn't type it correctly. I def I defined a variable called correct password here, but I typed it as correct password. <laughs> I didn't add the letter W. So compile and we are done. So let's run this and see what happens. Again, we are ignoring the case. So if I type in exactly this best pass, well, first of all, let's type in something that's different. Let's just type this. Hit OK. Oops, oops, oops. All right, so we made a mistake over here because we are using a Gerption pane, but I use a system that out, that, you know, the print uh, method to display it. So let's use the Gerption pane's show message dialog to display it, right? So it kind of displayed here and it, and it, it vanished so fast, right? Let's use a Gerption pane's show message dialog to display it instead. All right, so if the password matches, ignoring the case, we want to show it using the Gerption pane's show, uh, show message dialog. So J option pane, oops, J option pane dot show message dialog. Now the J option pane dot show message dialog method takes in a couple of arguments. It takes in, well, first of all, I'm going to type in null here. And null is basically a value that's going to send to the dialog box on the screen. And then the second argument is going to be what I want to display on the dialog box. So that's what I want to type. I want to type in, uh, that's what I want to display. I want to type win, uh, welcome user. That's what I want to display on the on the box. And then else, then let's display using the Gerption pane, show, show message dialog. Again, now centers the, the dialog box. Let's display incorrect password. Now this should look nicer. All right, so compile this and then run. OK, so we get the dialog box. Please enter your password. Let's type in anything different. Hit OK. And it says incorrect password because that password we just typed doesn't match best password ever. OK, now let's type in the correct value. So run. I'm going to type in exactly the same. 
best uppercase P password ever. Okay, matches the same. Hit OK. It says, oops, 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 oops. What did I do? It said incorrect password. Let's try again. Um, run best password ever. Okay, hit OK. And it says welcome users. Okay, so I got it. I think I typed it wrong, uh, wrong the first time. All right, so it's working. But let's really test this program because we haven't really tested it to see if equals ignore case works. So equals ignore case means that I'm going to type in the password, but I'm going to type it all uppercase. Best password. Actually, let's mix it up. Best password ever. This way. Let's make our up uppercase. Let's change this SS, right? So we are saying that if you compare these two strings with this line here, if you compare these two strings, Ignore the case. Just make sure that the, you know the characters are the same. B B E E S S. Okay, T T P P. Just make sure the characters are the same. We do not care about if one is an uppercase here and one is a lowercase. We don't care about the fact that this B is a lowercase and this B is an uppercase. Compare them, and if they are the same, then it's correct. If user password dot equals ignore case correct password right if you compare the user password and the correct password ignoring the case if, if they're equal then display this message welcome user so because this is still equal to this password even though they have different cases it should still work when I hit OK it says welcome user so that's a, a use of equals ignore case same with um, compare to ignore case so let's use compare to ignore case so compare to user password dot compare to ignore case if we compare it to correct password and it results in the value zero, we know that they are equal, right? So if that's e if they're equal, let's display a message, welcome user, else incorrect password. Again, we are ignoring the case. So compi compile, run, we type in anything, hit um, OK, and it says incorrect password. When we try again, and then we type in the correct password, let's say best, let's use, let's mix it up again, best password see ever something like this right even though it's different cases as long as it's the same character um, if they're the same characters it should work so hit OK and it says welcome user so that's that's a use case of it right there's different use cases of compared to ignore case and equals ignore case so this is an example program to give you a better sense of it all right so if you have any questions please comments down below and I'll do everything to respond to them Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.